Welcome to Mariac Fermax Rebuilds Moria. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Episode 5, Durin's Great Forge Celebration Hall. Alright, well this is the adventures of Mariac Fermax Rebuilding Moria. Happy Durin's Day everybody. As we prepare for the return of Durin. Uh, to celebrate the update uh, 1.3 with the patch for version 1.3.3. Uh, on Steam and Epic, Xbox and PS5. Uh, I did a quick build in uh, Durin's Forge, which I thought was fitting given it's Durin's Day. Now this build did take me a little longer. There were some building changes. Many of those changes have been fantastic. Uh, I did uncover a couple of bugs, which is normal. And it, over Saturday, uh, the team was even engaged uh, as I reported them so you know I haven't I've been in the software business for over 30 years and uh, work for a variety of companies and and so on personally and um, I gotta tell you uh, for such a small team they have been very engaged we have quarterly updates uh, intermittent patches amongst those and folks uh, are willing to engage and have conversations, not only for the future of the game, but also for the current game, the current lore, uh, the celebrations, the contests. It's a very active, engaged community, which I have very much enjoyed being part of. And so I wanted to thank uh, the team again uh, for their work and engagement. <clears throat> Now we are in a sandbox created in version 1.3 and uh, that sandbox was finished a while ago. I did my last golden uh, main base here. This is a large build in Durin's Forge. It is pretty massive. Uh, it took me over 20 hours to build and uh, I wanted to show it to you all today. This is a place where I'm hoping dwarves would come to celebrate Durin's Day and of course the uh, soon to be uh, reincarnation of Durin the seventh hopefully his arrival will be soon so you come in through the front door large hearth I embedded it so the background could the golden background could be seen I thought that was pretty nice I'll just go this way to the left we have a second set of adamant doors for protection large inlaid floor which I particularly enjoy the lighting changes have been spectacular uh, I I have to say don't need anywhere near the amount of light that we did before uh, right away you get to see the brewery uh, we have four Kings brew tanks up here and we have a good vantage so I'll go up here shows you the massive uh, amount of building here there's a brewery up there I'll go down in there the brew pub everyone knows I love my brew pub it's one of the first things I build need a bed need a brew pub you're all set got your pickaxe you're good We'll cover the top first. I covered up most of these pillars. I personally don't like the way they look. Finally found a use for this ornate corner with the feet and the uh, top cornice. But I decided to mix it up a little bit inlaid gold and granite with uh, wood flooring large kitchen area bakery so it's a bar and grill two bars I 
dress them up a little bit. Large table. Lots of seating. We'll cover this side first. I left the statues readily available. You can even click on the uh, history stone here. So this is an area of shops. It is suspended above the floor. So this edge here is where this balcony would normally have ended. And this structure here is stable. And I'll show you how I did it in a minute. We have our tailor shop. Enchanter. I love the little signs. One light lights it up beautifully. You'll notice it's early evening and I have no trouble seeing it's crafting in here. I did decorate over here for the heck of it. There's a second tier of shops. Now, they're not all populated yet. There's a little library. Very cozy. Little coffee house. You can get your coffee there. This one's empty. This one's empty. You noticed I used the granite pieces uh, to make the roof, and then uh, I actually used a stone floor, and then above that I used the, uh, the stone. Now these, <clears throat> this was a little unstable till I built these um, catwalks. You see these in modern malls where there's large overhangs and catwalks where they need structural support. And they would connect upper tier floors to the outer wall as you had balconies and overhangs uh, to carry the load, carry the structure. And I put in two tiers of them. This this is very stable because of that. So we'll go back. I created two sets of staircases on the central part. So we have our map stone and our uh, repair facility. And there are tunnels to go to the back storage areas, but I'm going to cut through. I'm not going to go down here just yet. I want to show you the other side of the upper part. So first I will orient you toward, this is the bar and grill we were just at. I could do something up there if I wanted, but I hadn't figured out what to do. Now we have the King's Brew tanks over there on this side. We have the seven medium brew tanks. And this would be the second door. This is extremely stable. They fixed placing railings, lattice, the wood, all very easy, all very tight now. Um, so that's as you look out across, get to see the breadth and depth of how large of a build this is. You do not need a lot of light. The braziers stay lit now, which is nice. Here's more Durin statues. I left them alone. In particular, I always had a hard time working with the wooden trusses and having them fall down eventually 
these have been extremely stable and they click a lot easier you'll notice I use the cross beams as well as the posts and then I added uh, filigree those arches onto the post though those arches don't seem to confer any structural support which angled brackets would have structural support in real life but these don't seem to um, and I built uh, like hanging gardens here you put the four together and they make this nice metal bracket I did drive them into the wall for added stability uh, there were some dead areas here when it came to light so I had to add a few sun lamps but nothing horrible I dressed up the uh, the pipes you can see across into the shops and of course there's an upper layer here now I particularly like the way that looks now, I didn't put the wood floor on the top I could have I embedded it <clears throat> a little bit I like the way it looked and in fact you can uh, there's a little lip there um, you see it from the bottom I think it looks particularly nice see the chimneys on the top of the uh, roof over there since there's three sections and two shops per figured I'd put in two flues per each chimney try to make it realistic view from up top Durance Forge we are very high up here this is very stable up here I didn't over decorate I tried to mildly decorate this is at night and you'll notice that the the hearths give a nice ambient light in the area I think it used to be the time of day was dominant now your hearth is dominant followed by the lighting followed by the time of day so it does get a little darker at night um, because obviously less sun would be sunlight would be coming in through the uh, the vent up there oh I did lose a piece of railing I can go put that back in a moment I'll just walk across excuse me pardon me this is happening a lot less except for in one area and I filed a bug for that look at how easy that was to place plop right in oh so much nicer alright let's go to the front walk down the center okay lined up the center I didn't do anything over here I can put in I I did a museum before um, look at the uh, nice filigree around the edge and the structure itself is not a lot it's not overbearing I might rest real quick so you get a quicker view all right storage well because all of the um, all of the 
mods don't seem to work very, uh, completely yet. Uh, we have to have larger sets of storage. So this is wood and ore and ingots. This is a tunnel that leads out to the forge. But let's go explore this area first. That jut out basically hides that destroyed wall. There is two levels to this. I haven't done anything with this area here. It's meant for more storage eventually. I did put in some gold. Up here is gold. I haven't put a treasury in yet. I haven't put one in. That is uh, the edge of the upper platform creates that shadow. Anyway, I needed the gold to um, smelt. Uh, I needed to smelt gold so I could make the uh, granite pieces with gold in them. I also put this in. Thought that looked pretty nice. I didn't overdo the gold. Uh, just accentuated it. Let's go to the other side. This is more material storage plus all my crates. More inlaid gold. More storage. And this tunnel over here comes out also at the center near the forge. Just on the other side. There's also three levels to this side. Uh, this is mushroom growing. Oh, did I forget to... I guess I forgot to plant those. This is where I'm growing my mushrooms. And then up here, I have my mills. Make my dough and flour and all milk. These large arches I've been having some difficulty with. They seem stable at the moment. I think it's related to uh, the floor in some manner, but I haven't been able to figure it out. I wrote a bug report on it. But I um, want to get this view here. That is a very nice view. We are in the dark. Look how well I can see. So I have six Ufan furnaces right here. Then we get into this area. Got our Kudzil Forge. I don't know where that came from. I was changing out lighting, so that's probably where that came from. I like how the banding up there looks. So I used um, the roof arches to provide that support and tie it all in. It worked really well uh, bridging that uh, from that pillar to the wall.
this is an issue I've had. Um, some areas for some reason have a floor problem, but uh, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Or it's something I did. I don't know which. But since this is my second base, I don't have a lot of tomes here, but I should probably move some here temporarily. Even that looks nice. Look at that. Now, the housing over there, I usually build four to eight houses. I only built four. Um, that's usually how many doors I have on at a time. Uh, if I have eight, I'll put two beds per room. And then each room, ha each house has their own, uh, their own um, light over it. So blue, yellow, green, and purple. Look at the garden up there. That is pretty. I love it. Like I said, other than a couple of small issues, uh, huge improvement with the ability to build and the lighting. Let's go over to um, show you what a typical apartment will look like. I only decorated one. It's my own. Uh, it's under blue. It's pretty empty. But, uh, oh, placing this on a wall and you can take mugs out of it. Oh, so much nicer. I don't have to have a mini brewery anymore. I can just grab one of these at a time, fill it up in the big brewery area. Now, I'm hoping eventually they'll come out with one of those stands where the barrels are, are laying flat on it with a tap uh, and you'll put the barrel in that and it'll sit there that would really be cool and I just decided to use the stonework here for aesthetic purposes that's all have a nice table full kitchen I put in polished wood stairs a little lattice work My bed. I like how that looks. A little trim. Because there is a third floor. And I made it into a balcony because it's a half third floor. So I can sit out here and see Duran statue and hear the working. And again, I used those corner pieces. Hadn't really found a use for them before, but this worked out really well. Ah. You'll notice how much brighter everything is getting. And I can show you outside the hearth zone and inside the hearth zone. There's a major difference. Alright, we are in a hearth zone here with lighting. Looks like we have a couple of orcs out there. So it's dawn. I'm going to take a quick picture. So it's done, and you'll see how dark it got over here. 
but as soon as we walk into that hall, well, obviously there's a light source here, but... See, we're in the zone. Look how much brighter it got. Fantastic change. Well, this keeps getting just better and better and better and better. Uh, lots of the different parts of the building system are improving. There are a few bugs still here and there. Um, and I know that they're working on it. The performance of this team for how small it is, quarterly releases, plus patches, willingness to engage with the community to find and resolve the bugs says wonders for the team. And like I said, I, I've been doing this type of work with computers for 30 years, and, over 30 years. And uh, though I don't write games, uh, nor do I have any experience writing games, I have a lot of admiration for the team because there's nothing like writing a piece of software and having thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people uh, banging on it to find issues. And they're going to find something. It's inevitable. And the team's very responsive. We're getting lots of patches. Um, and the contest, the celebration, really shows how dedicated the team is to doing the work uh, and restoring Moria. So with that, I'd like uh, to wish you a happy Durin's Day. Yay! Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Mariac Firmax Rebuilds Moria. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Episode 5, Durin's Great Forge Celebration Hall.